Hi guys and girls on YouTube, welcome to my channel. I've got this high sense Tellianth repair. I've got it all stripped down ready. Uh, let's just have a look at the model number. It is a high sense 40A 5600T, sorry, 5600FT UK. Let's see if we can get that into focus. Um, now, I made a mistake of taking this actually belongs to somebody I know, and I said it to be a simple problem, uh, which I've actually made a big mistake. Um, but I've actually ordered the backlights for it already now, so we committed already. Um, but if we get this tally going, it'll be a miracle. So let's just turn it over and have a look what the problem is. Uh, the backlights are faulty, it's probably about 18 months, two years old. Uh, let's just turn it over and have a look. So what makes this so difficult to repair? Well, the problem is the screen's actually glued in. Um, and to make it worse, it's actually sat in a recess. So you can't get anything under there to actually lift it up. Um, now, I have spoke with somebody um, who's repaired one of these and um, he said he'd never ever touch one again. Um, because uh, he managed to get the screen out without breaking it um, he used some double sided tape which was supposed to be specially made for gluing screens in um, and about a week later the screen fell out of the telly while the customer was watching it now I think I know um, what the problem there might be um, but my problem is now I've got to try and get this screen out before we can think about sorting problems of fastening it back in. Um, now I was suggested uh, to get one of these ribbons like they have on CD player um, and bend the end over like that and then uh, I'm told that you can just just about slip that under there and go round um, around the edge to try and remove it so I think first you've got to take this plastic bit out and then that will give us an access uh, to that edge down there but I've actually got a scrap telly to have a look at so we can look at that first so this is just an old scrap telly I've already broke the screen out um, and as you can see it's stuck down by a three millimeter uh, double sided tape so first, before I attempt to get this out, um, I'll just explain what I think went wrong. Um, the person who actually managed to get the screen glued in and it fell out a week later. I'll tell you where I think he went wrong. Now, he's actually sent me this tape for evaluation um, and I've tried it and it doesn't really seem that strong. Um, it says here it's for phone, tablets, cameras, laptops. It doesn't actually say TVs. Um, but I think that's pretty irrelevant because I think I know what the problem is. This is just double sided tape um, and in the TV and the scrap one I've looked at, um, it's double sided tape with a foam down the middle. Now what the foam does is when this heats and cools and expands and contracts, uh, the foam allows the screen to move about in different directions. Whereas if you move, if you use a tape that doesn't have any foam on, uh, eventually any movement will cause the bond to break. Um, I'm pretty sure that's where he went wrong. But if we just look at this corner here, I'll see if I can demonstrate. Uh, we get the camera into focus. And then if I move this about, you might see the screen. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but... Can you see the LCD glass there is moving from side to side um, when I flex the uh, chassis. Now I think that movement is because it's got the foam in the middle. Um, it's allowed, the foam's allowing that screen to expand and contract. Um, so what we're going to be using is a double sided foam tape. Um, but I couldn't find one that was three millimeters. I could only find one that was five. So that's the one I've got, and you can just about see the foam in the middle. Um, I'm pretty certain that's where he went wrong. 
Uh, but anyway, all this is immaterial because if we don't get the screen out without cracking it, uh, we're not going to be gluing it back in. Um, so let's take a look at see if we can get the screen out now. Right, so so far I've managed to pull that away and um, I should just about be able to get something into that corner now. Right, all well, looks very dodgy this, but um, that's the ribbon out of the CD player. Uh, I'm told now that you should be able to slide that round the edge and that will break the adhesive bond. Uh, whether we're going to break the screen or not, I don't know, but anyway, I'll stop the camera and I'll carry on. Right, well, I've got to say that was a good idea putting that in because they've actually managed to break the bond and it's lifting. Uh, the problem is when we get to when we get to here, we're not going to be able to go around the corner with that. Um, so what I might try and do is break the bond on this side and then if I can get that rubber thing out and I can go under there, I might be able to just lift the screen upwards. But that seems to be, um, to lift that very carefully, that's one side off. Actually I've just noticed that uh, on this bottom uh, it's not actually glued in at the bottom. Um, you can just lift that up so it's only glued in on three sides. Right, so I might be able to just show this on the camera. Um, so the idea is you get that in there and then you slide it along like that. Right, so that's the two edges um, undone. I'm hoping now if we just lift this up like that very carefully uh, we can break um, the seal at the top. Well, that's the plan anyway. Right, well, that's the LCD panel out. Um, I'm not very happy about bending these right over, um, but we don't really have a lot of choice because if they come over, it's ruined. Um, but I have actually managed to get the panel out without cracking it, which is a miracle. Right, so it looks like these diffusers are sat under that lip. Um, so I think the way forward now is to lift the diffusers up and then pull them towards me like that. Yep, that's how that comes out. Right, so on to the next problem. Uh, it appears that this backing paper this reflector's actually stuck down with double-sided tape. So we're going to have to try and get that out without ripping it. That's the next problem. Right, so with a bit of heat from a hairdryer, uh, I managed to uh, lift off that reflector uh, without ripping it. In fact, I'm, I'm not going to take it all off. I'm just going to leave it there because I can get, get to the LEDs now. But, uh, guess what? The LED strips are also glued down, so this set is just not meant to be repaired. Uh, but as these are old, it won't matter if we just break these off now. But you can see there, two strips we're going to be replacing. Now this bit's easy, we just cut underneath here with a Stanley knife like that. Get the knife under there. just work it under the glue like that right so that's the two new strips um, I hope these are right because if you look they're in two different size boxes yet the ones I've took out of the telly um, are exactly the same length right, so that's okay these two strips are exactly the same size I don't know why they packed in two different size boxes um, but as you can see, it's just an aluminium back. There's no, um, well, they don't even, they're not even supplied with glue, so I might just use 
double sided tape to stick them back in right so that's the first one uh, mounted in with just some double sided tape on to the next one right so that's the other one in uh, I've just put a little bit of double sided tape uh, in three different positions to hold that back in uh, let's just get that back in now right so that's that back in it looks a bit crinkly where I've stretched it pulling um, but there's no other way you can get that out I don't know what effect it'll have on the picture um, but we won't worry about that yet because we've not even got the screen back in without uh, damaging it or cracking it um, so let's just uh, carry on so the next thing to do now is to get all this old tape off these surfaces well you get the idea anyway it's all going to be peeled off and uh, anything on the back of the LCD panel will have to be peeled off as well right so that's going better now just keep pulling it till it all comes off right so that's ready I've cleaned these mating surfaces here where the uh, the double sided tape is going to go um, I've made sure there's no black bits in here because we need it all nice and clean uh, I've just got to slide that reflector back in now right so on to the next problem fitting the screen back in I could not get this um, tape with foam in the middle in three millimeter which is what came out of this telly um, now that's not a problem around this edge because if you look there um, the actual five millimeters is about what that is so that's perfect uh, even though it had three on but when we move to the top of the TV um, it goes from five millimeters here to three millimeters there so when we put that foam on there there's going to be an overhang of two millimeters um, now I don't know what to think about that we're going to lose two mil at the top of the picture um, or it's not going to matter um, I suppose I could try and cut two mil off that um, but I don't think that's going to be easy um, but let's get some tape down this side and we'll think about the top after but you see the problem there, it's, it's 5 mil here, but there it's only 3 mil. Right, so that's the tape on. Um, I've decided just to stick some across the top, and um, if you lose 2 mil of the pitch, well, that'll have to be, uh, because this tape is ridiculously hard to use. Uh, it's actually like rubber, and it stretches, and it's very, very, it's very sticky, and it's very rubbery. Um, so if you put it on and it crinkles then you have to peel it off and put a new piece on uh, and it wasn't cheap either for this very small roll they don't, as you can see there's only a little bit left over but um, that's it anyway I'm going to come back to this uh, tomorrow I've had enough of this tonight but that's the uh, that's the tape on now the difficulty bin getting the screen in um, I'm told to activate this tape for maximum strength um, the screen has to be pushed onto it um, which is where you could end up cracking it uh, because this is only like a millimetre or less than a millimetre thin piece of two glasses so anyway that's it that's all I'm going to do for tonight I'll come back to this tomorrow Right, so we're back onto this the next day. I've just fitted the board to check the backlights are okay. Um, now it's lit up, we need to remove any marks like that black spot there um, before we attempt to put the screen back in. Right, so I guess the next job to do now is to very carefully flip this screen over uh, and remove any of the old adhesive um from the back yeah so if you look down there we've still got uh the strips of the original <coughs> tape that we've got to remove 
Right, so I found the only way you can remove the adhesive from round the screen is with a little bit of gentle heat from a hairdryer uh, and just keep pushing it like that with your finger. And, and then clean this surface off with isopropyl alcohol after. Um, but this is proving to be very, very time consuming to get it all off. Right, so a long time later I managed to get all the glue off these three surfaces. Uh, now all I've got to do is clean all the, the finger marks off the screen and uh, we'll think about mounting it back in see what happens. So once again we're using the isopropyl alcohol for cleaning this glass. Right so that's the glass cleaned. Um, I still can't get my head round this. I've, I've tried to cut a bit off there, but I can't do it. It's ridiculously difficult to cut that tape. Um, so I'm just going to lay the screen on. Uh, as I explained, we've got 5mm here, uh, but here we've only got 3mm. Um, so I would imagine we're going to lose 2mm of the top part of the picture. But um, I'm not too bothered because... Uh, this is turning out to be far too difficult job um, time consuming we're hours and hours into this now so I'm just going to put the screen in hope for the best and just see what it looks like right so after one failed attempt I found that this tape is so sticky that once you put the screen down you can't move it about to position it uh, now I did only put this top edge in um, and I've managed just about managed to get it off um, but I'm thinking now I'm going to lay it down from the bottom um, standing on this piece of wood so I can actually move the screen um, in between these two sections and then we'll start laying it down but yeah it seems to be better fitted from the bottom right so that went better the answer is to lay in uh, this bottom surface first and then when you line it up in these sides then let the screen fall down onto the adhesive so so far so good I don't know what it's going to be like but I've managed to get the screen back in now right so time to see what happens now uh, the screen's in uh, I've put the single board in with just four screws um, I might just stand it on its side because I don't want it sitting on these tabs. Um, so I might just stand it on its side. I'm going to put the camera on a tripod and then uh, we'll switch on and see what happens. Um, if there's any bits behind the screen now it's too late because it's not coming out again. Um, but I did, um, I, I think I've cleaned it pretty much as best I can. But let's, uh, let's get it on a tripod now the camera and see what happens. Right camera's on the tripod the camera's running let's just stand it up uh, I haven't got an aerial in at the moment I'm just going to see what happens first that's the power on where's the on and off button there right here we go oh, just make sure the backlight's plugged in yeah here we go switch on Hmm. Right, well the set's come on. I'm not sure. We do have like a black like a black uh, band here, but um what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to um put some more screws and then connect it to a signal so we can see what the picture's like. But yeah, it's looking good so far. Or looking the best it can be anyway. Right, well the screen's not coming out again. So I'm just going to completely reassemble the set now. And then we'll put an aerial to it. And uh, that's all the rest of the bits ready to go in. Right, and that is the finished result. That's an absolute miracle that this worked. Um, I don't know what that black band was at the bottom. Uh, but whatever it was, it's gone. Now the TV's uh, the right way up. Uh, and if we take a look at the top where I was worrying about losing part of the picture. Um, 
I don't know if you can see that there but we're coming across here and then you can see where the tape dips down there very slightly where it's not level um, but it doesn't actually look too too bad and when you stand further away um, that little band at the top almost disappears um, so we've lost a very very minimal part of the top of the picture um, but you know you stand two feet back and you don't even notice that right now I know somebody's going to ask what sort of um, tape I've used um, so if you just look at it there you can see the thickness let me just go over to the computer and I'll show you what this is right so that's the tape I've used to put the screen back in it's 3M manufactured by 3M and it's called VHB if you want to uh, look up the data sheet for this So there we go guys and girls on YouTube, sometimes I even amaze myself, um, I thought the, ch the chances of cracking this screen were so high, um, I didn't think we'd end up with such a good result. Um, but anyway, there you go, we live and learn, will I be doing another one of these? I don't think so, uh, it's far far too time consuming, I mean this is probably only a £200 tally. Uh, you'll never get back the amount of money that you spent in time actually doing the job uh, but uh, it was for, for a friend of mine so um, you know the time spent's not that important but I don't think I'd want to be doing any more of these for a living all right guys and girls on YouTube I'll catch you in the next video then many thanks for watching goodbye